Hey, I'm sure. Welcome to readings. Aries. We're going to pull a Psychic Tarot Oracle card for you. And these are by John Holland. Aries, what are you up to? How are you feeling? Come on. Hope you're feeling really good. If not, let's hope that that's about to pass. Spirit has picked. Ooh, spiritual strength. Spiritual strength, number nine. Spiritual strength. Wow, I love that. I love it. Let's go to the book. Number nine, spiritual strength. Where? It's on page 149. 149, way back there. Ooh, way back there. Mm. Spiritual strength. Let's go, Aries. This card is coming forth to give encouragement and remind you that you have the inner strength to complete whatever you've been working on. The final, this final spirit card, the final spirit card, Yes, it is. This final spirit card represents courage, discipline, stability, and persistence. You may be tired or weary from the struggle, but now is not the time to give in. Instead, tap into all your inner reserves. Turn the page. For that one final push to achieve the desired outcome. You've been through so much to get to this point, and even though you may have acquired some scars from the battle, you're wiser and stronger for it. The enlightenment you've gained will be an invaluable resource. You may also notice that you're experimenting with different things in your life at this time. All of these experiences feed your spirit and offer you knowledge for the future. Spiritual strength. Spirit. What happened to the light? <laughs> Let's get some light in here. Not that I want you to see me or anything, but... <laughs> so, we're going to do your reading with... Well, let's go with the Tattoo Tarot. Let's go to Tattoo Tarot. Aries. Spirit is definitely in the room, jumping all over the place. Spirit, very, very excited today. Very, very excited. Let's go. Come join me tonight. 7 p.m. Ontario time. We'll be live. We're going to do fun facts. Come on out and laugh and meet your family and say hello. Aries, the tattoo tarot, spiritual strength. Oh. Oh, should be quite a reading. Let's break them again. Let's break them again. Let's make sure. Let's make sure they're ready. Aries. Oh, there's a flip. I'm taking it. What is it? Two flips. We got the Empress and we got the Devil. Whew. The Empress and the Devil. Who's been trying to stop you from being all that you can be? Let's go. Let's get her on and let's get her done. Aries, this is your reading. We got the Empress, we got the Devil. It appears that, you know, you get a lot of bright and great ideas. And you can bring those ideas out into the world. These are probably money-making ideas or, or just ideas. About a project I'm going to start or something I'm going to do for me. Or something I'm going to do for the neighborhood. Whatever. I mean, Halloween's coming. You think about maybe opening up like your house for a Halloween haunting walkthrough for the kids and the adults. Or... It can be anything. But... There appears to be some sort of an energy around you that doesn't seem to want to see you 
bring these ideas out? Well, with the Queen of Cups in the reverse, you're almost feeling no emotion here for somebody. There, but it's in the reverse now. Right straight up, it is a lot of emotion. Waves and waves of emotions. But it appears that the you know, waters are very still right now. Waters are very still. What else? Seven of Cups. You've got doors opening, four of swords, Aries. I'm really feeling that you're on the road to recovery, the road to healing. Uh, you, you've got doors opening here. You've got choices. And with the four of swords, three on the wall, and one on the floor, this is definitely healing, resting, taking time for me. I, I'm bringing my emotions down so that they're nice and even. I'm not getting emotional. I'm not getting all wrapped up in freaking drama. Bam! Nine of freaking cups coming in for you here. Wish fulfilled. You know, I'm surprised that the great magi is not here. The magician. I'm really surprised. If the magician comes out with the high priest or the high priestess, this is really going to tell me a lot about you. Uh, what, I, what I have here is you've got lots of ideas. Someone tried to stop you from taking control of these ideas, from bringing these ideas out into your life and into your world. But right now, resting, trying not to get involved in drama, trying to keep your emotions still, just a ripple, healing, three of pentacles for rebuilding. The nine of cups is a wish fulfillment and the three of pentacles is rebuilding. We got the queen of pentacles coming out here now. Hold on, we need another card with it. Where the hell's the magician? I got the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles, the security that's coming. The security, and how are you getting it? With the Queen of Cups reversed. That's how you're getting it. By coming to terms with what's happening now. Absolutely nothing. Nothing's happening right now. By coming to terms with, I'm not getting involved in the drama anymore, and the bullshit and the things that, that made me go crazy, and the things that, that made me angry or, or, or just made me show displays of emotion. I'm resting, I'm healing, uh, I'm taking care of me, I'm finding me again. Nine of Cups. Three of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. The security that's coming in for you here. The Four of Wands is marrying. Marrying for the Five of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Marrying. Marrying is bonding. The Four of Wands bonding. What are you bonding with here? With the Five of Pentacles coming out is something that you left in the past. It's something that you left out in the cold. With the Ace of Wands, yep, the Ace of Wands is a whole brand new beginning. I get a feeling that you're going to be bonding with something or someone from the past. Something that you might have left out in the cold. But you're feeling better. If not now, you're healing. And then, uh, bam, things just start. Wow. Well, the world opens up for you. And when the world opens up for you, there's this rebond or bonding with something that you left out in the cold. And wanting to start a whole brand new beginning with something or someone. King of Pentacles coming out here. This is cash, baby. This is cash. If it's not cash, then it is this exquisite feeling uh, of enlightenment and enrichment. 
with the spiritual strength. But you see what spirit did for you? You, you see what's happening? Do you see what the divine is doing, the universe, whatever you want to call it? Do you see what it's bringing to you? Don't forget it. Okay? Because now we've got the hermit in the reverse. Wow. The Ten of Cups and any ego that you might have had or anybody else had is bye-bye. There's no more ego here. I got the Ten of Cups. Aries, this is a real kind of a jump around kind of a reading, but what concerns me, even though it doesn't show it here, what concerns me is the hermit in the reverse. Well, actually, spirit speaking, no. <laughs> There's no more hermit. All right, so actually, it doesn't concern me at all. I was reading it wrong. I was seeing it wrong in my mind's eye. The Spirit has just told me that this is a good card. This is coming out of Hermit mode. And, and, and this is the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups. This is releasing any kind of ego. I don't know, Aries, what you're doing here. But there's something here about emotion and you're letting it go. When we let emotion go and we don't let things bother us anymore... There's only one way to go, and that one way is forward and upward and onward. And that's what I see happening here. I see you saying, I, I can't do this anymore with this emotion. There is also a renewal of someone or something in the past. There will be a whole brand new beginning, a bond. Probably something that maybe if it's love, that the two of you never saw before never realized before and there's a hell of a lot of wealth a lot of wealth and the wealth like I said nine of cups is a wish fulfilled ten of cups well that's everything you want the ten of pentacles we got ten ten red here the ten of pentacles is the security the comfort and the knowing that one is doing very well. There you go. There's justice and that is equaling the balances. Weighing everything out until they balance. There's justice. There's a chariot. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Or they're on their way. Here comes the Hierophant. All right, Aries. There's a lot of spiritual cards in here. The Empress, very, very spiritual. All four queens go to the Empress for guidance and wisdom. The Hierophant, Justice. You got a, a lot of spiritual cards here. The Hermit in the reverse, coming out of Hermit mode. You got a really, really good, good outlook in your reading here. Wow, it's incredible. And I do see someone tried to stop me from being all I can be. Uh, Aries, I really do feel that letting down emotion, not getting involved in emotion, you're probably very much hermit mode right now. And you're thinking, it's nice. I, I'm finally resting. I'm healing. And I'm starting to understand it doesn't help when I, when I start screaming or yelling or, or when I try to fight to prove that I'm right or these things don't matter. Coming to terms with your emotions. It's beautiful. Taurus, Cancer, Libra, Virgo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Pisces. Sagittarius. Spiritual strength. I definitely see it in the reading, but before we close, let's pull an Angel Answers card for you. These are by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. And let's see what spirit will pick for you. Let's give them a cut. 
Aries. Communicate clearly. I've got a feeling you're going to be communicating very, very clearly to somebody. And because of it, you will get a wish fulfillment. Communicate clearly. Clearly. Page 27. Let's see what it says. This situation requires very precise and careful communication. Don't assume that others involved understand what you want or need from them. In person, discussions are preferable. But if that's not possible, make sure that your communication method is very thorough. This card can indicate that there has been a miscommunication that is creating a challenge for the parties involved. And I feel very, very strongly with the Queen of Cups in the reverse that it was a very, very challenging situation and that you might have tried to master it or they tried to master it or you both tried to master it instead of sitting back and looking at it, which is what I feel you're doing very much right now. Looking at the emotions. By clearing up any misunderstandings, you can heal the situation so that everyone can start moving forward again. And I do see that brand new beginning with someone or something from the past. I want to thank you for joining me today. Airy Spiritual Strength. Wow. If you like the way I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Namaste, Aries.